What's up guys, it's Mikai and I'm back here with a part 3 of the Meteor Space Game. So the last one got 50 likes once again, which was great, thank you all for the support. And today we're going to be adding meteors, just the basics of that. So what we're going to do to start off is choose a sprite from the library, which is something <clears throat> we don't really do that often, just because I like to make my own art. But what we can do is we can go to, I think it should be in things, or... Not rocks. I remember there were meteor things somewhere. Let's see. Space. Okay, I guess that isn't going to work. Um, okay, I guess I'll make my own. Alright, so let's see how we can do this. I'm going to convert to vector, and then I'm just going to go like, like that. And like that. And like that. Okay, now we'll zoom in. So press this plus sign right here in the bottom right. We're going to disconnect that. Yeah. And then in order to color it in, we're just going to convert to bitmap. We also want to make sure that this is centered. So we're going to put that right there. And then we're going to take a shade of brown. This one. And I'm going to go like that. And then I'm going to take this and go like this. And we're going to take this gray and go like that. Oh. Actually, I might just go like this. That doesn't look like a meteor, so I'm going to make it gray. Make this gray. Make this gray. Make that gray. Okay, there we go. So that's our meteor. We can shrink down the size. And then we're going to take a lighter gray and then just color in the outline. Okay. Maybe a little darker. Awesome. Okay. So this is basically going to fall from the sky turning. And yeah. So what we want to do is say one flag is clicked forever. And then we're going to create a new variable. And we're going to call this spawn, uh, spawn, meteor spawn time. We're going to make it for all sprites. And we're going to say one flag is clicked, set meteor spawn time to two. I'm going to say wait two seconds. But instead of two, we're just going to put in meteor spawn time. And we want to create a clone of myself. Now, when I start as clone, first of all, we're going to go into looks, hide the original sprite that's a spawner, and show the actual spawns. So we're going to show, and we're going to repeat. Uh, uh, actually, we're going to say, go to Y, I want to say 190 or 200 which is outside the screen, and then we're going to pick a, pick a random from negative 240 to 240. And what we're also going to do is we're going to shrink the size of our spaceship, and as well as that, we're going to add some code that um, is a little different. So what we wanted to do is we want to say that um, the, uh, actually, I'm yeah, okay, here, we'll do this. Set size to pick random between 50 to 100. So let's see how that works so far. You see that's big, smaller. Okay, let's change it from 30, uh, 30 to 60. Okay, so then what we want to do is we want to say repeat until drag the greater sign, or actually less than, and we want to say repeat until our y position is less than negative 180, and we're going to change y by drag a times multiplication sign, do negative 1, and we're going to go into looks and say size. Okay, let's see if this is good. Uh, we're going to drag in a divisor sign. We're going to make this 5 because right now it's a lot, very fast. Okay, that's still too fast. We're going to change this to 0.4 just to see the effects. And um, let's see. I'm going to do it by 10. So the, the, the bigger one should come faster. 
which so far I don't see that to be happening. Wait, that, that's true, it did happen there. So we'll do to 100. That's in the background, that's up front, you can tell. And yeah, okay, we're just gonna change this to 30 and 60. And so this just adds a little bit of random to our code. Uh, I still think this is a little too fast, so we're gonna call this um, Meteor Speed Divisor. And we're gonna set Medium Speed Divisor to 15. And then in here, we're gonna say Medium Speed Divisor, right there. Okay. So we can shoot all these down. And yeah, so this is the spawning of it. I still think it's a little bit too fast, so we're gonna change this to 50. Okay. So that looks good. Um, obviously, it's not functional yet. We're just gonna add the last bit of animation code. It's gonna say, when I start as clone, forever we want to repeat, uh, forever we want to turn size amount. So that it'll be random. Yeah, that's way too much. So we're gonna do size divided by 50. That looks good. So they're all turning kind of. And when we start, we want to point in a random direction. So we're gonna point in direction um, size divided by 50. Why not? So then we get, it's a lot more random. So we're gonna just do pick random number from, I forget what the options are. Uh, zero, negative, negative 180 to 180. Negative 180 to 180. Okay, there we go. So this is the spawning. Obviously, we don't want to change this up from meteor spawn time. And yeah, this is how it's going to look. Okay, so now we're going to add just a little bit of code. And all we're going to do is say, um, one, cl one flag is clicked. Uh, or sorry, when I start clone, forever uh if touching and we're gonna say touching bullet so when it gets shot down all we have to do is go into control and drag and delete this clone also put that right here okay so you can see that well, if i yeah that shoots but the problem is the bullets still go too so we need to add that code as well um, so we're going to say when I start as clone, if, uh, touch, if, if touching, um, sprite one, we want to delete this clone as well. And we also want to always check. So we're going to go like this. Okay. So now if let's hope we can get one that's away from the variables, both things are going to die. Oh. Oh, I see, okay. Uh, we want to, my question is this. Okay, so if touching sprite one, delete this clone. Mm. Okay, let's do this, let's just hide it. Let's not delete the clone. What would happen then? Because the problem is that their, um, their code is not working together. There we go. Oh. Okay, I guess that's not gonna work. We're just going to have to uh, set ghost effects to 50. Actually, you know what we can do? Just to make this easier for right now, we can change this later. We can just say wait point zero, zero 0.05 seconds. Shouldn't take more than that. And then just delete the clone. Okay, so yeah. Where is it? I don't even think it needs. I don't even think it needs that long. Let's do zero point zero one, and uh, let's look at this. Yeah, that works fine. It stops. And so yeah, we're gonna add ammo and a lot more in the next tutorial, but this is just it for now. Also power ups. Okay, uh, thanks for watching guys. That's gonna be it for this tutorial. We just added some meteors. 
Uh, we can hide these really quickly. And yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.